Hi everyone, this video is for section 8.1, non-right triangles, laws of sines and cosines. We're going to go ahead and take a look at an application problem. Uh, this one reads, a 130, or sorry, 113 foot tower is located on a hill that is inclined 34 degrees to the horizontal. The guy wire is to be attached to the top of the tower and anchored at a point 98 feet uphill from the base of the tower. Find the length of the wire needed. So essentially we are looking for the length of this wire that I've highlighted in red. And honestly, with regards to the picture that's been provided for us in the problem, it's kind of, it has a lot going on. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of simplify this down to just a bunch of simple geometric shapes. So I'm gonna represent my hill just as a right triangle. Um, and then my tower, I'm just going to make a straight line. And then my wire, I'm going to highlight that in red. And actually, I'm going to try to straighten that out a bit. It's a little bit better. Um, so essentially, what we have is we have a couple of triangles that are resting on top of each other. We know that the black line is 113 feet. We know that the portion of the triangle here that's that I'm highlighting in a lighter green is 98 feet. And then we also know that the angle from the base of the hill going up is 34 degrees. So at the moment, we kind of have scattered information, but we can kind of start to pull this together. So one of the first things that I'm going to note here is that um, if you recall in geometry, if we were to say, draw a line that's parallel to that base of the hill, um, remember that if we have two parallel lines, we essentially have created the same angle measure. So this angle measure is 34 degrees. But what I also want to note, and what I'm going to highlight in orange, is that this angle here, so from here to here, that is a 90 degree angle. So that means that I can comfortably find out this angle because of what I know about complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add together and create 90 degrees. So in order to find out what I have highlighted in pink, I'm going to do 90 degrees minus 34 degrees. And that's going to tell me that my missing angle here is 56 degrees. Okay. Now, if we recall, I'm going to just call this side A. Um, this is what I want to find out. I want to find the length of the wire that I need in order to anchor from the tower, to attach from the tower and anchor to the hill. So I'm going to move this up and create a little bit more room for myself. And I'm also going to zoom in. So I'm just going to look at this triangle. Um, so this top one. Okay, so here's my tower side. Here's part of the hill. And here is my wire. And again, I'm going to try that one more time. That's a little bit better. Okay, so Again, this side is 113. I know this angle is 56, and I know that this portion of the hill is 98, and I'm trying to find this piece. So at this point, we should be going, well, do I have a law that will allow me to kind of um, dive right in and start to solve this problem? And the answer to this should be, yes, you can use the law of cosines. So the law of cosines, if you recall, would read something like a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So in other words, b squared and c squared are representing those two sides that are sandwiching uh, around that angle of 56 degrees, minus 2 times again b and c times the cosine of, we'll say, angle alpha. So if you recall then, the side that we have isolated on the left is going to correspond to the angle that you have inside the cosine. So in this case, if we were to set this up, we don't know what A is. We know that B, for example, would be 13 squared plus 98 squared. And again, if you were kind of in your head, if you had those numbers switched around, so you were saying B was 98 and C was 113, it doesn't matter because essentially b squared plus c squared is the same thing as c squared plus b squared. Um, pretty much the same idea or argument here. It really doesn't matter if you're doing 113 times 98 
or 98 times 113. So we actually have all of our information filled in and lucky for us, we are just solving for this piece here and it's already isolated. So this really is just a, potentially a plug and chug in your calculator. So what I'm going to go ahead and do then is I'm gonna to continue to solve um, and I'm gonna show some of my steps here. So now I have a squared is equal to, evaluating 113 squared is 12,769. Evaluating 98 squared is 9,604 minus 2 times 113 times 98. Uh, that's going to give me 22,148 times the cosine of 56 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to have to go to our calculator to help us out and make sure that your calculator is in degree mode for this. So we're going to have a squared is equal to, if we add these two values up, we're going to get 22,373. And then if we take care of this multiplication here, we're going to have minus uh, 12,385.00443. So chugging along, we're going to go ahead now and do the subtraction here. So this is going to give us a squared is equal to uh, 9,987.99557. And then we're going to take the square root of both sides. And this is going to give us a is equal to 99.93999. Uh, five nine eight three feet or we could just kind of simplify that down and say that's about 99.94 feet of wire so our final solution we found that a is going to be 99.94 feet so that's how much wire we are going to need for this problem and we're done I hope that this was helpful if you have any questions please let me know